music has spawned many stars in the last few years, but none as outspoken or as controversial as my next guest. The leader of the group has a message, and you're going to hear it all, all, all now. You, you know his message, don't you? Yeah. Yes. Ready to perform, You Must Learn. Please welcome Boogie Down Production. <laughs> And a song, let me demonstrate the force of knowledge. Yeah. My race of priests, the ignorant is ripped to smithereens. What do you mean when you say I'm rebellious? Cause I don't accept everything that you're telling us. What are you telling us? The creator's dwellers. I sit in your unknown class while you're failing us. I failed your class design with your reason. You're trying to make me you by season. Up my mind with C. Jane Run. See John Luck in a hardcore New York. Come on now, it's like a chocolate cow. It doesn't exist, no way, no how. It seems to me that in the school there's ebony. African Haitian should be pumped up steadily, but it's not. And it has got to stop. See spot run, run get spot. Insulting yeah. to a black mentality A black well like for a deaf black family So I include with one concern That you must learn Everybody Just like I told you You, you must learn Everybody Just like I told you You, you must learn Everybody Just like I told you You, you must learn Again Just like I told you You, you must learn Well Believe that if you teach in history, deal with straight up facts, no mystery. Teach the student what needs to be taught. The black and white kids won't take shots. When one doesn't know about the other one's culture, ignorance swoops down like a puncture. You don't know that you ain't just a janitor. No one told you about Benjamin Radica, a brilliant black man that invented the almanac. Can't you see what KRS is coming at? With Eli Whitney, Holly Salasi, Granville Woods made the walkie talkie. Lewis Ladder Man proved on Edison. Charles Drew did a lot for Madison. Garrett Morgan made the traffic lights. Harriet Tubman freed the slaves at night. Thomas J. Walker made the training curve. But you won't know this if you weren't shown. The point I'm getting at, it might be harsh. And we're just walking around brainwashed. See what I'm saying? It's not to this a man. We need the 89 school system. One that caters to a black run turn because you must learn.
listening, man. Someone. Yeah. yeah. I uh, went to Sharon Olson, my music producer here, and I said, find him. Get him here. Uh, I had been hearing so many things about you and really listening to your work. And uh, self-destruction, let's start there. For those of you out there who don't understand the lyric, I'm going to have this man explain to you lames what it's all about. You know, Talk about self-destruction. Well, basically, self-destruction is a, a record that comes out of the Stop the Violence movement. Uh, the record Stop the Violence was created on my last album called By All Means Necessary. And what happened is it became such a, how to say, unanimous hit uh, amongst colleges, amongst, amongst uh, uh, students in the ghetto and suburb that we got all the rappers together to come out and do a song um, just saying to the industry that rappers aren't about that yo man mentality that we're always being told we are about and we're always being shown we're about. So we got the hottest rappers together to do the record self-destruction and it's geared towards black on black crime. But then we can go into what really black on black crime is. Because to me, the statistics say that black on black crime is black youth killing black youth. But no one says about the statistics of black police officers killing black youth, which is the concept on this album cover. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, at the top of the show, you know, I looked into the audience. I mean, on my vacation, all I heard about was black people and white people on each other's case, you know. And I look here, and then about that, you know. Right. Everybody on a positive tip. Yeah. So, so there is another way. Because that, that way is a step into the past, and we right. really don't want to do that. Now, I heard you speak on it. Talk to me. Well, basically, I believe that this is a wall of ignorance, which is put up by media, uh, shows that want to depict black people on one side and white people on another side. It's the wall of ignorance. Black people think, oh, white people this, oh, they got it too easy over there, oh, whitey this, whitey that, which is not true. White people think, oh, black people got it too easy, they do this, they can do that, I got it, blah, blah, which is also not true. The key lies in education. Once... Once we change the Board of Education's uh, curriculum or criteria and what they're teaching us, then of course we'll have this hand-in-hand, -hand, so to speak, unity amongst humanity. But until we're going to talk about uh, 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 issues like Howard Beach or issues like Bensonhurst, these things come up in the news all the time. You never really hear about uh, a show we did in Compton, which was like, 4,000 gang members and not one speck of violence, not one argument. You know what's interesting? Not... Uh, okay, now we're gonna really open up a can of worms, but I'm the most hated <laughs> man in America anyway, so... Not only do you not hear about stuff like that, mm -hmm. but your records mm. with messages like you must learn mm -hmm. and messages like self-destruction aren't played on the radio. Exactly. As much as they should be. Right. And black radio. Right. At that. You know, it, it's, it's what is called a, grow, it's a growing problem. I'd like to call uh, what it is, but I can't really say. It starts with house and it ends with Negro. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> that's basically who is running the uh, 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 black radio nowadays. They think it's all about money. And in a civilization we're living in, I think it's not enough for black people to know who they are. It's more if white and black people know who black people are. That's where the key is. We have, we have so many problems trying to get our records played just because we want to say something. Uh, when I was saying nothing, when I was, uh, my first album called Criminal Minded, I had an album out, it was a couple of records called Poetry, uh, uh, a couple of other songs, Elementary, those songs were getting played because I was the regular rap artist. I had just broke into the industry. I was talking about, you know, the regular stuff. I'm the greatest, blah, 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 blah. I got played all over the nation. The minute I opened my mouth and said, stop the violence, the place stopped. And it just goes to show the kids want to hear it. Adults want to hear it. People all over the world want to hear it. Why isn't it? Why is that? <laughs> why is it not getting played? <laughs> Very weird. Mm. 
You even uh, had the opportunity to write for the uh, New York Times recently in the editorial section. Mm -hmm. What did you want people to learn from that? <laughs> well, basically, that was uh, geared towards the candidates that were running, the mayor, mayor, mayors that were running, or former or future mayors that are supposed to be running. Uh, that just went into me saying that some of the issues that they were campaigning about really didn't hit home. They were just saying, like, I, I took Nancy Reagan, for instance, when she was saying, just say no. I asked her, what is she saying yes to? You know, if we're going to say just say no, what are we saying yes to? Everything's no, 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 no. Don't do this, don't do that, don't do that. But yet, you turn around and her husband's cutting everything everything so how could in one well, you know he has some leaking from his oh. brain <laughs> you know well, basically <laughs> basically the um the times piece just went into that that this is a lot of candidates running and i just feel as though that no one has attacked the issue of homelessness no one has attacked the issue of nurses in hospitals no one has attacked the issue of there are more black men in jail than there are in college no one has attacked that issue to me yet. And you know what, what's interesting is you, you, you shot right over homeless, but you were homeless at one time. Definitely. Seven years. Yeah. So yeah. you prove that if you can dream, you can do it. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> you know, one thing, I'm, I, one thing I'd like to point out also is that um, a lot of people wonder, they wonder, they say, well, wow, Chris, you know, he was homeless for like seven years. How did he... You know, how did it happen? And I mean, to a lot, I mean, a lot of the people that listen to you or listening to us right now are trying to get into the business of recording. And it's one thing uh, to have a demo and it's another thing to own your demo. And that was a very important step in my life to have to, to, to really realize that it's not really about your talent. In the music industry, your talent is only worth 5% of what you do. The other 95% is who you're down with, who's behind you, this, that, and the other, how much you know. So the people, the people asking the question how we came up from that, it has a lot to do with education of business, a lot to do with education of self. We relied strictly on our inner self, and that's basically how it happened. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. KRS One and Boogie Down Production. Oh, oh. No.